so much ignorance and I think if anything that really shows you that you being here time and time again week in week out is really making the difference so a round of applause for all of you give yourself a round of applause so I'm not going to take up too much of your time I just have a small piece to say then I'm going to read you guys a poem so they tried to take her land but they seem to have forgotten that Palestinians are much stronger than all that. A lifetime of suffering couldn't break our spirit. Their biggest mistake is that thinking that Palestine is just one country. Palestine is everywhere. Palestine is the traveling country, the traveling culture. They keep attempting to paint over Palestine while forgetting that we're busy. Oh, okay. Sorry guys, technical difficulties. Is it back? Okay. They keep attempting to paint over Palestine while forgetting that we're busy painting the rest of the world in Palestine's colors. They try to paint Palestinians in a negative light and convince people that we're scary or extremists, even going as far as to describe us as human animals. But Palestine is beauty. Palestinians are beauty. They encompass love, kindness, and generosity beyond measures. Guys, I don't think the sound system likes me. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently the technology design is too. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So this poem is called My Identity Card. They stopped us at the border and asked for my identity card. I chuckled as the soldier looked at his and grabbed my arm. What's funny he asked. I chuckled again. It's funny because all they've ever wanted is our identity. They tried to take our land, our food, our soil, and our livelihood. They tried to take our land, our trees, our soil, and our livelihood. They made a poor attempt to steal our food and our music, and rebrand it as their own. It's funny because they teach their children that Palestinians are subhuman while also teaching their children a B-Tech culture stolen from under our very eyes. And what's funniest of all is that they spend their lives hating us and trying to eradicate us when the reality is all they want is to be us. Thank you very much guys. Guys, can we make some noise for the ladies wearing the food? Next speaker for the day is Sister Siham from Gaza, wearing this lovely Palestinian toe. Make some noise! every show and every solidarity with the, with the people in Gaza. Thank you, thank you very much. Because it's the, the land day, I'm going to talk about my journey back to my homeland in Palestine last summer. As you, m m many of you know that I'm Palestinian from Gaza and I have been only allowed to see my, my land only last summer for about 40 years ago. 
And last time, and last summer, I went to visit Gaza, and my husband told me it's going to be a long, long journey and a very tiring journey. I told him it's okay, we don't mind, as long as we see our land. He said, are you sure you're going to bear, bear, bear with it? I told him, yes, that's fine, I don't mind. But we flew, we took the train from Swansea to London, and then we flew from London to Cairo, and then we stayed in Cairo for one night, and then we had to go to Sinai Desert for about six hours and then to the borders in Gaza. But the surprise when we were in the, at the border, we stayed there about 12 hours. And the time we spent at the borders was unbelievable. It was nightmare. It was very tiring, very stressful. I was very, very upset. The kids were very upset. And I, did, I just asked my husband, why did you bring me here? I didn't know it's that hard. I didn't know it's that difficult to go to see my land. If I knew that was hard as this, I wouldn't come. And then he told me, I told you before that it's going to be very hard, but I didn't expect it as hard as this. I've seen another guy, he was, uh, he was with us in Ireland. I, I met him in the border. And then I told, he told me, oh, you came here to, to go to Gaza. I told him, yes, and I regret it. He said, no, no, please don't say this. Why you to go to, when you go to Gaza, you will forget this and you will say, oh, I'm going to come again and again and again. I told him, no, I just want to go back. And believe me, if I found a way to go back at that time, I wouldn't say no, I would go back because of the suffer and the pain we have seen at the borders to go to our land. At the border, the Egyptian border, um, a woman from Belgium, she, was, she came as well to see Palestine. I think when I told her, is this your first time? She said no. But... What really caught my eyes with her, that she has a disabled son, about 30 or 35 years old, and he was fully paralyzed. The only thing that he can move is his head. And I told her, are you serious? Every year you come with your son and he's in this condition. Every year she said, yes, because my son, my kids want to come to Gaza. I told, in my head, I said, oh, she's crazy. She shouldn't come all this way and she shouldn't suffer this with a disabled, fully paralyzed son like this to see Gaza. What's the secret behind this? And then we went to Gaza, we crossed the border, and then I saw Abraham again, that guy from Ireland. He told me, remember I told you, you're going to forget. I told him, yes, I forgot everything. As soon as I reached Gaza, as soon as I saw all my cousins, my relatives, and the way they treated us, the way they welcomed us, it was unbelievable. The first one came to my mind, that lady, I said, oh, she's not crazy. She's right, she was right. Gaza deserve the pain, the suffer that goes every year to go and see it. So Gaza is a special, a special, very special land. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, Palestinian pope looks lovely on everyone, especially on our lovely Irish lady here, Dee. Make some noise for Dee. <laughs> Dee just came back from Palestine, actually. She spent time with the Bedouin communities at Misafir Yaffa. We're up until now, before the 7th of October, since 1917, Palestinians have been forced to leave the land and they still happen all up, up until now. So D just came back from one of those communities in South so make some noise for D. First of all, I want to say I'm not trying to appropriate the wonderful Palestinian culture, but my beautiful new friend, Siham from Gaza, who just spoke, loaned me this today. It's one of her daughters. So I feel very proud to stand here with this beautiful family. Well, this is land day, and I'll tell you a little story. So I was in Masafar Yatta in the South Hebron Hills last year for maybe six weeks. And I returned this year and I have to mention that it was through my really white privilege 
that I was able to sail through the border at the King Hussein Bridge. I flew into Jordan to Amman, I traveled to the bridge, and because I'm white, and obviously no threat, I'm old, and not a privilege, I was invisible to border control, so I was able to sail through, which I really deeply you know, appreciate, because I know there are so many Palestinians here who cannot return to their land. And it's heartbreaking that someone like me can go. So I went. And I went to the same place as last time. I traveled from Al-Quds, Jerusalem, down to Bethlehem, down to Al-Khalil, Hebron. And then I got the bus to Masafar Yatha, to Yatha, the town of Yatha. And the beautiful Hureni family picked me up there. And they warned me, D, when you go, you're going to see some changes. But I didn't understand. So we came through on the road to Atwani, the little village outside the firing zone, firing zone 918, where all the other villages are. And as we rounded the corner and my heart leapt, because I was going to see the place I'd been last year, I was absolutely heartbroken and shocked to see a line of Israeli flags from the 7th of October. They have used this opportunity to grab every bit of land they can. They started robbing the Palestinian land in 1948 and they're still doing it. Shame! 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 Land grabbing, nasty, vicious, petty Israeli illegal settlers. They use this opportunity and the shocking thing is, these settlers who already had some weapons have been armed by the Zionist government. So now what they're doing is they're walking into the villages and after October the 7th, they held guns to the backs of Palestinian shepherds and farmers and forced them to leave their land. Luckily, a lot of them came back and I'm going to put a call out if you are a white person and you're in any way able to spend some time in Palestine in the West Bank, please use that privilege because it's sad to say when there are people like us present, they call us protective presence. Sometimes the settlers will hold back a little bit because we're filming and we're sharing the films and we're documenting and that was my role there. So. Yes, I was there, and I went with the shepherds, I stood on the hillside, it was beautiful, and these illegal militias, heavily armed, would come and force people off. But you know what? They're up against it. Unarmed Palestinians, excuse me, but honestly, that's what they do to the settlers. They are not shepherd he was probably about 80 and he was surrounded by this militia heavily armed militias who are much worse than the army because they had no regulation and they had, he had guns pointing at them and he just went you know that kind of i can't do the tisk sound we did the sound and he was like what are you going to do shoot me he actually said i would rather die on my land than leave and this is what I heard. We have so much to learn from the Palestinian people. We have so much to learn. They have put up with so much. And that beautiful word we're hearing more and more, Samut, steadfastness, they have it in abundance. And it's something we can all learn from them. And my last thing to say is, every demo you carried out every time, every action. I saw them on, on the social media. I showed them to the people in the villages. I showed these demos and protests and actions and occupations to the people of Nassau Yatha. And they said, thank the people of Wales.
a chant in Arabic. So the chant we're teaching you today is Hurriya. Hurriya means freedom in Arabic. So let's chant together. Hurriya, Hurriya, Hurriya. Yeah. 